So now we're ready to begin the controls, and before we start, we want to practice. First, we need to calibrate, though. So if you go down to the screen over here, that you have three channels. This top channel is your hammer strike, and if you look on the y-axis over there, it tells you what is hooked in. The second channel is your EMG, and the third channel is your goniometer. Okay? We need to calibrate the goniometer for the position that it's in on her body. So if you look down here in the far right corner, it's kind of small, but there's a little wrench icon on that channel. Each channel has a wrench icon, so you need to make sure that you are selecting the one that's on the goniometer channel. So we'll have the computer operator click on that, and then it'll walk you through the calibration. So Danielle, go ahead and read those out loud and tell the subject what she needs to do. With the leg relaxed at the 90 degree angle resting position, we're going to Calibrate. Extend the leg straight out and hold it. Okay, so before we start with any stimulation, I just want you to hit um, start, which is up in that top corner. And we're going to have the subject go ahead and extend her leg out and make sure that the goniometer is in the right direction, which it is. It should go up when she extends her leg. Okay, so go ahead and stop that. And um, you can use this rewind icon to delete that data because we don't need it. So for this part, this is where we have to get coordinated, okay? So we're going to have our subject close our eyes because we want you to be completely relaxed and unaware of what's going on, okay? When we're ready to go, the computer operator, what are you going to do? Click start. Okay. Once we, put, we, print, we click start, you need to be able to see the screen. So can you point to which channel is the goniometer? Okay. Perfect. So when the, when the striker hits the knee, you're going to have a reaction and you're going to see the goniometer displace. We want that to get back down to baseline and stay at baseline for a few seconds before you give him the thumbs up. Don't want you to watch the screen. We want you to focus on the spot, okay? And when he gives you the thumbs up, it's time to go. All right, so everybody know what their jobs are going to be? All right, well, let's see how you do. Okay, so Danielle, do you see something about that screen? All right, so Danielle, um, it's very, that was a very small reaction, so on the next one, I want you to hit Command Y so you can vertical auto scale automatically. All right, so whenever you guys are ready, so go ahead and use the wide part of the... Okay, so that's pretty good, because this, this is just a test. So go ahead and press stop. All right, so now we want to look at our data, and this is where you would get a TA to come over and evaluate the data, okay? So TAs, this is a separate thing. I'll go through this with you after we're done filming. But I would readjust that EMG channel, because there's a lot of noise on the baseline. Do you guys see how that's really noisy? That is not an optimal tracing. So to me, that would tell me that they didn't clean the electrodes very well, so I would actually go back and check the ground first make sure it's on, okay? And then um, if that doesn't fix it, just playing with the ground, you can have her actually press start while she's doing it, because this data, since we haven't started the, the experiment yet, this data can be deleted. I'd rather take the time to make sure that everything's right before we start than have them go back and correct it later. So check the ground first, Check sure, and go ahead and press start. So see, sometimes it's just, and see it's not. So I would actually take these off and scrub again, get a really good connection. And if you don't get a good connection at that point, check the electrodes that are at your table. Where's that sheet where you got the electrodes? Right here. Check them, because if, if they've been left out, they'll dry out. And if you touch them, th this one's pretty dry. So that's probably what's <coughs> causing them, and you just toss them out, OK? Um, but that would be noise. I would come over and yell at them. Well, not yell at them. I would fix the problem. The other thing we want to look at when you walk up and, you sh and whenever you're observing these things, you need to be watching that EMG, okay? Because as a TA, when you get a, ha a single hammer strike, we shouldn't have a hammer strike again before the goniometer comes back down to rest, okay? If they're doing that, then our helper is not doing their job and we need to talk to them and coach them through what they're doing. It, notice with the hammer strike though here, we have a single peak in the EMG. If you have any noise after that or a second peak, then your subject's cheating. They may not even be aware that they're doing it, but they should only have one EMG. If they have two, you need to coach them through it again and tell them, hey, you guys re really need to relax. And sometimes just walking up, if you see two, and you go, hey, let me see your leg. See, she's tense. 
Okay. Yeah. I should be able to swing your leg pretty easy. It's swinging easier now than it was when I grabbed it. She was not even aware that she was contracting the muscle. Okay? So two EMGs, bad. Noise, bad. More than one hammer strike and a goniometer, bad. The other thing that will happen is they'll invert the goniometer. They won't read the directions correctly on the calibration, and the goniometer will go down. Okay? So if the goniometer goes down, what do you do? Recalibrate. You hit the wrench and recalibrate. And the nice thing about this is you can do it on the screen. So we're going to just do a control trial. So you guys go ahead and start it and coordinate it. So the lab manual says to do five to ten trials, but what we're looking for is three good, consistent responses. So these are all pretty good, but we want to look for three that have decent or similar size. So these last two, those are fairly similar. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, that was a wimpy one. All right, that's pretty good. I'd hit stop. <laughs> 